and welcome to another video and this video is going to be about typewriters one of my favorite machines and uh, more specifically how do typewriters work because at the first glance they can seem to be quite a complicated contraption um, but funnily enough it doesn't work that differently from a modern computer so if you don't know a typewriter is a device that writes things and um, should have an example of here. This is um, what typewriter script looks like, I suppose you could say, with those lovely um, block letters there. But on to how the typewriter actually works. So you load up your paper, which is quite self-explanatory, and you have this little. Let's see if it focuses. You've got this little black slider thing here, and this, you can line that up with the zero there along the top, and you place your paper, and it rests on there, like so, and then you simply roll this up, and there you go. You now have some paper in your typewriter, and now this bit, this section here, I don't have a name for it, but I'm sure it has some professional name. You've got a handle here, and that moves that along. So that's kind of separate from the main body. And then, quite simply, you just um, start writing away. Like, uh, hmm... Today is a very nice day. Ta-da! And that has just been written by my typewriter. As you can see, it's in red ink, but I'll get onto how you can change the colour of your ink later. Um, so now, how does the typewriter actually work? And for this, we're going to have to take the top off, so I'll just... Ah, there we go. Aha! The inner workings of the typewriter. Now you see along here all of these metal prongs I suppose you can call them. We have all of the different letters or symbols that are connected to um, the keys on the typewriter and as you can see underneath each button is a little metal I wouldn't call it a wire, a little metal prong that I suppose connects with these prongs. So whenever you press the Y, for example, it will activate the metal prong that has a Y in it. And then you and you've done a you've written a Y. And now how do these metal prongs actually uh, receive the ink to print onto the page? Here we have two ink um, typewriter ink kind of um, whirly things, I'm going to say. <laughs> Not the technical term at all. Um, but every time you press down a letter, you can see the band there moves upwards. And the, um, the prong synchronizes with the uh, increase of altitude of the band to hit the band at just the right position. Um, and it uses the ink on the band to print onto the paper. There you go. And, to, and instead of using the same position on the ink roll continuously, um, the little whirly bits uh, turn around and so move the ink band along the more you type. So as you can see, that is slowly turning around. And eventually, you'll get to the end of the line and, you he and you'll hear that bell, which means you can go a bit further but then it will stop and you've also uh, reached the margin of your page then you quite simply move that back and you're ready to go again and I'll have to redo that bit because on a normal typewriter mine's a bit broken you see but on a normal typewriter moving the lever as you can see in this mechanism here moving the lever 
as you can see that's with this bit here it moves backwards and rotates the um the kind of roll that the paper's on normally that would move the paper upwards so you would pull that over and the paper would have gone up and you'd be on a new line sadly mine's a bit broken so that doesn't actually happen and i have to manually kind of screw it um, into the right position every single time which is a bit annoying but uh, you've got to do what you've got to do um, and then of course you've got a lovely little back polar prong there um, and the numbers over here is to it's kind of like the spacing between the lines of text that you can write which is quite handy. No idea what this little red knob does, to be honest. It's got a plus and minus sign on it, and you can spin it around, but apart from that, I have no idea what that does. Uh, SC, don't know what that does. I'm just like flicking it around sometime. And then here is where you change the color. So this typewriter is meant to take white, blue, and red, but I've put in a red and black um, ink roll. So, as you can see, when it's on the so-called blue um, setting, it writes red. When it's on the white setting, it doesn't write anything. And then on the red setting, it writes black. So, uh, yeah. There you go. And, of course, you can do capitals as well. If you hold this one down and then oh, there you go capital wise so when you hold that down you can see it moves the whole um, prong prong bed I suppose I'll call it that for now it moves the whole bed down um, and as you can see there's two letters on each prong so there's a capital and a lowercase so it moves it down so that it can the head of the prong I suppose that bit can position itself so that the where are the capitals they're on the top so that the top of the prong will hit the um the ink roll so as making a capital and there's even a caps lock like this one here which holds it down permanently and then you can you can write capitals all day long which is quite handy um, back button as well all your different numbers tab moves it forwards. Uh, no idea what this is meant to do. I think, yeah, kind of activates that lever there a bit, but uh, not fully, which is a bit bizarre. But uh, there you go. So that is, I suppose, the basic workings of a typewriter. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty handy, pretty retro, you know. It all works well, and um, it's actually quite a simple uh, mechanism. So, there you go.